In English-speaking countries, they are called wisdom teeth because they emerge when an individual becomes an adult and supposedly gains wisdom. While we commonly refer to them as wisdom teeth, in medical terms, these teeth are known as the third molars. Humans have a total of 32 teeth, consisting of four front teeth in the center, followed by two canines next to them. Beside the canines, there are four premolars, and at the very back, there are the first and second molars, consisting of four molars altogether. In total, there are 14 teeth on the upper jaw and 14 on the lower jaw, making a total of 28 teeth. However, when you add the four third molars, commonly known as wisdom teeth, two on the upper jaw and two on the lower jaw, humans have a total of 32 teeth. It's rather unfortunate that many wisdom teeth tend to grow in at an angle. If left untreated, this can lead to serious issues like gum infections, cavities, and even tumors, causing pain. Ah, perhaps only those who've experienced this pain can truly understand it. And the agony that comes after having your wisdom teeth removed, well, I can't begin to describe it. So why do these wisdom teeth cause us so much trouble? Let's dive into the fascinating story of the evolution of wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth appeared in our human ancestors millions of years ago. Molars were essential to chew tough raw meat and plant roots effectively, as seen in various fossils of the Homo genus. Wisdom teeth grew in naturally, just like other molars. However, a remarkable change occurred about 2.4 million years ago. A mutation occurred in the gene responsible for strong jaw muscles. In 2004, Professor Hansel Stedman of Pennsylvania State University published a paper in Nature. The paper discussed that around 2.4 million years ago, a mutation in the MYH16 gene, which is related to the jaw muscle, occurred. From that point onwards, the jaw muscles of humans began to weaken. Indeed, the size of the human temporal muscle, which plays a crucial role in biting, is quite insubstantial compared to other primates. Dr. Stedman noted that some of the muscle fibers in the human jaw are about one-eighth the size of those in a monkey called the macaque. As the jaw muscles weakened, it reduced the pressure on the skull, leading it to become thinner and larger. Essentially, this created a conducive environment for the brain to expand. On the flip side, as the masticatory muscles diminished, there was evolutionary pressure for the jawbone to become smaller. Additionally, around this time, our ancestors, with their enlarged brains, learned to cook food with fire, further reducing the reliance on jaw muscles compared to before. In essence, the need for a large and robust jaw diminished for humans. However, it's important to note that while the size of the jaw gradually decreased, there was no significant change in the genes determining the number of teeth. As a result of our evolutionary history, there arose a need to accommodate all 32 teeth in the increasingly narrow space of the human jaw. Particularly, by the time the third molars or wisdom teeth start growing, the available space for them is incredibly limited, often leading these teeth to emerge at awkward angles. Forcing their way into such tight spaces, wisdom teeth often push against other molars, causing pain. In addition to this, food particles can get trapped in those hard-to-reach gaps, leading to bacterial growth and subsequent tooth decay. Interestingly, there were misunderstandings about this evolutionary quirk. Some mistakenly believed that people with emerging wisdom teeth were less evolved humans. To clarify, it's not a matter of being less evolved, but rather that the number of teeth didn't adjust as quickly to our evolving jaw size. However, being less evolved isn't inherently negative. Evolution simply denotes change, and it doesn't inherently come with judgments of better or worse. You might be thinking, I've never had wisdom teeth. Is that weird? If so, you'd be in the same boat as 35% of the U.S. population. 
Statistics suggest that in modern America, about one in three individuals don't develop wisdom teeth at all. Even among those who do, approximately 20% of adults have sufficiently large jaws that allow the wisdom teeth to grow in normally. For these individuals, there's no pressing need to extract their wisdom teeth. In fact, unnecessarily removing a problem-free wisdom tooth might risk nerve damage. So, when did wisdom teeth start disappearing from human evolutionary history? And why? Anthropologist Dr. Alan Mann from Princeton University found that human fossils lacking wisdom teeth started emerging approximately 30 to 40,000 years ago. This suggests genetic changes impacted the development of these teeth. Dr. Mann theorizes that not having wisdom teeth offered certain individuals a survival edge because of less associated pain and inflammation, which led to the widespread adoption of these genetic traits. Dr. Mann also pointed out that in modern times, with soft food becoming a central part of our diet, the amount of time we use our jaws has decreased. This has, in turn, resulted in even narrower jaws. Because of these changes, recent data shows that 10 to 25% of Americans do not develop wisdom teeth at all. And among Asian Americans, who often have flatter faces and shorter jaws, an astonishing 40% do not have wisdom teeth. How are your wisdom teeth? For those of you who are about to have your wisdom teeth removed, rather than being scared, remember this. When we began to cook our food with fire, our jaws became smaller, but our brains became larger. Well, it might sound strange to say, but perhaps we can overcome these challenges by blaming them on the quirks of our ancient ancestors. And of course, know that we're here rooting for you too. Science is a window to the world. And this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.